Hi. Again, it's, uh, wow, it's 23.59, so in a few seconds it will be 0, 0, 0, 0 on my clock. Hmm. How does that work? I don't know. But it's Friday evening, uh, and I just got this really cool email, and I'm going to read it to you, but you're going to have to read it yourselves because it, it um, when you read it, it makes a lot more sense. But it's about the English language and how... Uh, confusing it is, right? And you're going to have to listen to this and try to see if you can see which words were spelt the same. Uh, number one, the bandage was wound around the wound. The number two, the farm was used to produce produce. Three, the dump was so full it, that it had to refuse more refuse. Four, we must polish the Polish furniture. Five, he could lead if he would get the lead out. Six, the, de soldier, the soldier decided to desert his desert in the desert. Seven, since there was no time like the present, he thought it was time to present the present. Number eight, a bass was painted on the head of the bass drum. Nine, when I shot at the dove, dove into the bushes. Ten, I did not object to the object. Eleven, the insurance was invalid for the invalid. Twelve, there was a row among the oarsmen about how to row. Thirteen, they were too close to the door to close it. Fourteen, the buck does funny things when the does are present. Fifteen, a seamstress and a sewer a seamstress and a sewer fell into the sewer line. 16. To help with planting, the farmer taught his sow how to sow. 17. The wind was too strong to wind up the sail. 18. Upon seeing the tear in the painting, I shed a tear. 19. I had to subject the subject to a series of tests. 20. How can I intimate this to my most intimate friend. Let's face it, English is a crazy language. There's no egg and eggplant, no ham and hamburger, no apple in no apple nor pine in pineapple. English muffins weren't invented by the English and French fries in France. Sweet meats are candies while sweet breads aren't sweet and are meat. We take English for granted, but we explore its paradoxes. We find that quicksand can work slowly. Boxing rings are square. And a guinea pig is neither from Guinea nor is it a pig. And why is it that writers write with their fingers but don't fing? Grocers don't grosh and hammers don't ham. If the pearl of tooth is teeth, why isn't the pearl of booth beef? Booth beef. One goose, two geese, so one moose, two meese. One index, two indices. Doesn't it seem crazy that you can make amends but not one amend? If you have a bunch of odds and ends and get rid of all of them, but one, what do you call it? If teachers taught, why don't preachers prot? If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? Since I think all English speakers should be committed to an asylum for the verbally insane, in what language do people recite at a play and play at a recital? Ship by truck and send by cargo, send cargo by ship. Have noses that run and feet that smell. How can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same, whilst a wise man and a wise guy are opposites? You have to marvel at the unique languages, the lunacy of the language, in which your house can burn up as it burns down, in which you can fill out a form by filling it out, in which an alarm goes off by going on. English was invented by computers, not people, and it reflects the creativity of the human race, which, of course, is not a race at all. This is why when the stars are out, they are visible, but when the lights are out, they are invisible. You lovers of the English language might enjoy this. There's a two-letter word that perhaps has more meanings than any other two-letter word, and that is the word up. It's easy to understand up, meaning towards the sky, or the top of the list, or when we awaken in the morning. Why do we wake up? At the meeting, why does a topic come up? Why do we speak up, and why do the officers up for election, and why is it up to the secretary to write up a report we call up our friends, 
we use it to brighten up a room, polish up the silver, we warm up the leftovers, and we clean up the kitchen. We lock up the house, and, we, and some guys fix up the old car. At other times, the little word has some real special meanings. People stir up trouble, line up for tickets, work up an appetite, and think up excuses. To be addressed, to be dressed is one thing, but to be dressed up is special. A drain must be opened up because it is stopped up. We open up a store in the morning, but we close it up at night. We seem pretty mixed up about up. To be knowledgeable about the proper use of up, look the word up in the dictionary. In a desk-sized dictionary, it takes up almost one fourth of the page and can can add up to 30 definitions. If you are up to it, you might try building up a list of the many ways up is used. It will take up a lot of your time, but if you don't give up, you may wind up with a hundred or more. When it threatens to rain, when it threatens to rain, we say it is clouding up. When the sun comes out, we say it is clearing up. When it rains, it wets the earth and often messes things up. When it doesn't rain for a while, things dry up. One could go on, but I'll wrap it up, for my time is now up. So it's time to shut up. Now it's up to you what you do with this email. I just... I'm tr I try to learn foreign languages. It's tough on me. www.micperformance.com Have a fun evening.